There we go. Now go back, go back, go back. Go back. y'all. Today's Friday the 14th. Yeah, I think that's what today is. Got work today. I'm about to, I've got a 29 k case hooked to the smaller disc here. About to go to the back of my place here. I've got 20 acres of corn ground. We're going to disc up for wheat. We had a big rain come in late Wednesday night. Yeah, late Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday night time frame. I think it's actually Wednesday night. Early Wednesday night it came in. We'll go back here and knock his 20 acre that day. Alex is on the road trip today. He is going to pick up our uh, his new toy, which we will probably look at tomorrow. I think we'll probably go to the big shop, drop off at the big shop, so we go through it and see if there's anything that needs to be fixed on it. Probably is. You can, every time you buy a piece of equipment, there's something you got to work on. So we're going to stack up and set you over there. That way, most of our tools are over there. A lot of them over there, anyway. Major place to work on it, and we could get it inside that shop this morning if we need to. And mess with the inside. No way it's ready to go when we're ready to use the next spring. So, the plan is that I'm going to knock out 20 acres. I think uh, I may let the off the middle of this here a little bit. Everything goes smooth out. This I agreed to this good yesterday. Changed a couple of grease starts on it. Uh, look, went through it good yesterday. I think it's tight and ready to go. So we'll leave out some big disc on his, on his track. He's going to start finding disc at wheat ground. Probably tomorrow, uh, it'll be too wet to get the main field still. And we got a couple of horses coming in for combine. It's supposed to come in tomorrow. Or today. Hopefully they come in today. We can actually uh, put a couple of horses on here at that grain table. And we may be able to start cutting beans Saturday afternoon. Most likely it'll be, uh, most likely also probably Monday before we start cutting beans. I see all the weather does. We have to get everything put in the time on because I'm saying we're ready to go on beans. Right now, though, we're trying to get a wheat disc, this ground disc because it's the middle of October. We we'll like to get a wheat ground disc and get the wheat planted and get that done. For people who don't know, we don't drill our wheat in. We'll have a company come out and spread it in. We'll spread it in with a little fertilizer to go down with it. A little starter fertilizer with it. Basically, they kick it off. I had to go by the store while I go buy some off-road diesel. I don't know if you made money off-road diesel in the last week, but uh, it started going back up again. It was getting where it wasn't ridiculous anymore, it's just suspension. And now it's getting back to ridiculous again. The reason I filled up in the house, I had to go to the store to get some off-road diesel. And it's because I was open the distributor bring just our diesel and fills up my tanks out. I haven't going to get any in this week. That's always a good sign. Now, this getting in wheat ground here, the way I do it, the way do, we do it, we come back and this gets at a 45 degree angle the first time. So, I'm playing this. See, the four rows run this way here. I'm disking this way here. Going this way, going this way. I do that for two reasons. One, if I cut it at a 45 degree angle, it helps smooth up the field a little more. I've got some of the holes, which I don't think this field has too many. And then we come back and start the wheel on top, I'll, bend, I'll disc it the other way. I'll disc it with the corn rows, the way the corn rows are planted. That helps uh, smooth everything out a little more, chops everything up a little better, and gets it get the color cut on. The main thing is get it smooth, that way you can run through here and look where it's going by. Thanks for the rubber side of it. Got the first field done. On to the second field now. Actually, about halfway through the second field. Didn't build much of it. 
I let dogs in uh let dogs just about half over here. It's uh four o'clock, it's my cat, four thirty. I sent him sent him home to go get some supper. But since I'd ride in tractor with him to kinda coach him on discount, I didn't feel much of it. Everything discount pretty good though. And I'm surprised I also how grout how dry the uh, ground is after that rain. So it we are dry here still. Well, we got a pretty good rain wind tonight. There's still a bunch of water out of the mud holes. I don't know how much we got because I put my rain gauge up and I took my guard down a couple weeks ago. But it's good rain though. Well, it's good rain though. Safely. So he's home. Uh, got the thing unloaded at the big shop. Said there's uh, a couple things with it we need to look at, which we figured it would be for prosper paid for it. That's why we got it. And it was uh, we could pay for it for the cash. Cheap. So we don't want to pay for stuff for cash. And uh, maybe for a little work. But that's not a big deal. What we can do, we can work on stuff. If you guys have been following along long enough, you know we don't mind working on stuff at times. I think we can work on it and then see if it's gonna fit our operation. If it does, then we make a decision. Not we're uh, selling. We do. But we'll look at that tomorrow when we go over to the big shop. And I think I'm gonna call it for a day on this because uh, it's just going back and forth. That's not really interesting. I hope it stays that way. I mean, I'll get done this game today. So we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to Midtown, y'all. So, uh, yeah, we did something. We, uh, melted something. So, we are the proud owners of a spur now. Self-propelled Wilmar 6200 used. We, uh, seen one was going to sell online, and we took a gamble, and we ended up getting it. Main neighbor John went and picked it up yesterday, and we got it home. So, 60 foot booms, 500 gallon tanks, has a uh, four cylinder John Deere diesel in it. I think it's the same size as like a 6400 or 6410 John Deere. Four wheel drive, front and rear, air suspension on it. It runs, drives, supposed to have been sprayed with this year. It is not the prettiest girl's dance, but we're gonna make her dance though. So a few things to touch up, like it's missing the battery cover, gone. We can build one of them. Got a few little, little paint missing here and there. It's got all, all, but two, three windows cracked. So cracked window, cracked window. Not cracked. Front glass ain't cracked. It needs a few things like this airline for the airbag needs to be put on new. The airbag still air up. The front ones aren't airing up fully. The inside needs to be cleaned out. You can tell that it was ran by an employee, not an owner, because there's Coke cans, dirt, snuff cans, everything in the world throwed in the floorboard. You got extra tips bag of parts random bolts air seat does work uh it is it needs a cover so the air seat works see up and down we got some random feathers random pencils and this is the radio we got the spare one of them only real bad spot in the windshield is this one. She's got this get the spider web effect going on. Fronts, plexiglass. Uh, probably change that out. 
good news is has a rake controller that works boom section controller that works uh besides that i mean it's a sprayer it's it's ugly but we uh we're the proud owners of it now good good winter project you know needs a little detailing on the inside and then let's hope the ac doesn't work evidently this switch doesn't turn the pump on and off anymore pump runs wide open all the time once you plug it in because i plugged it in and the pump's running and it's actually blowing cold air so we gotta fix that just odd and end stuff yeah it is what it is man oh for y'all don't know these Wilmar sprayers are articulating sprayers they pivot in the middle that's gonna get gonna get some taking used to driving it's uh, funny backing up and it yeah we'll 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 figure that out when we when we do that but most everything works all the gauges work except the oil pressure gauge winter project so we're gonna go get in something we'll catch up with y'all then so it's raining on top of a couple times a little bit not much but enough to go make us question it starting cutting beans because we don't want to go leave stuff sitting right so we'll put some fingers in the head go through the head that we would do in the field we'll go through it here make sure it's hooked it ready to go yeah we've done unlocked it so it's uh flexing again so it's not solid and rigid head but put some fingers in it uh put a couple cutting uh put a cutting knives on it and basically get it where it needs to go we got some parts order for it they're supposed to be here today they're not they'll be here monday that's another thing we're kind of waiting on too we got a couple things we want to put on it so we'll just kind of go through it today and get ready get it ready for monday maybe we cut make up being tomorrow if it don't rain may start <coughs> may start tomorrow and put some in the bin we're so much rain tonight though that's planned for right now. Woo, we got a bunch of garbage in there. What? Got a bunch of garbage in there. Ain't always a bunch of garbage in there. Ain't always. Get your parts and turn it to one side. This side over here? Yeah, turn it. Right, right, this side here, your side. No, the other side. It, that side runs real. Ready? Yep. That the right way? You keep turning it. Okay. There we go. No, go back, go back, go back. Okay, so we're not working our head anymore. Uh, we are going to go to the emergency room. Alex, uh, I decided to get my finger caught between a blade, the top dull side of the blade, and a guard, and cut the fingernail off, swish it off yeah. on my right hand. It hurts pretty good, so we're going to go get a few stitches, and uh, yeah, that's going to be the rest of the day today. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And it's my fault. I was turning it, I just yeah. and I turned it back and it didn't go back quick enough. Yeah. So I had my hand in the wrong spot. Watched the wrong hand when I turned it. It's going to be 50-50. He didn't pass out. He came yeah, close to passing didn't out. Pass out. Didn't pass out. It hurt. It hurt. It looks bad. It looks we wouldn't show it, but then we. But it ain't broke. It's still bending. It ain't broke. It ain't cut all the way off. It's just a tip of it. It's just a tip. Just a tip. A thumbs up video for Alex getting his thumb cut off. We finger cut off. We need a thumbs up finger. My trigger finger. My trigger finger. Oh, his right hand. It's a good right hand, too. Hand. Okay, we survived. Yeah. Finger's still intact. It's not broke. So that's good. They were smashed a piss out of it. They were impressed we twist he twisted it and put it back yeah, on. I was impressed I got everything lined back up on my own. They only put a couple of serious strips on it and said it looks pretty straight. I was like, yeah, I got a pretty good eye for straight thing, so yeah, number one fan now. Bam. So we're good. It only took two and a half hours, so we're gonna get some ice cream to celebrate going to the hospital. Yep, I deserve an ice cream cone after this. <laughs> we're going back to the house. Okay, that's it for today. It's all we all adventure day. We have to all adventure for us. So appreciate you guys watching. As always, good Lord willing, we'll catch you on the flip side. Till next.